The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. Newton gets an early chance here. Watch Brett Conrad send a nice ball to Leo Ricaldi, but Cliffside Park keeper Edgar Arguado makes the save here at Milburn High School. The Braves put together a run here as Andy Weber sends the perfect through ball to Leo Ricaldi, but once again, Arguedo is there for the stop to keep this Group 2 state semifinal scoreless. Newton is on the run again, and watch Matt Cespedes just bend it wide on the kick, and we still have no score. And it stays that way at the half as Kyle Morell of Newton makes the save for the Braves, who dominated the first 40 minutes of play. Okay, early second half action, and Newton is so dangerous on set pieces, Watch Brett Conrad send it up, Leo Ricardi flick it, and then Chris Scoot slips in and he scores, and Newton takes a 1-0 lead five minutes into the half. Looks like Mawa all over again, huh folks? Wow, what a goal. And then 10 minutes later, watch Newton get the perfect clear from TJ Krushnick to Leo Ricardi who chases it down and he scores, and Newton takes a 2-0 lead. What a goal by Ricardi. Newton almost goes up 3-0 here, watch TJ Krushnick deliver the volley, but Cliffside Park keeper Edgar Aguero covers up before Ryan Cronin swoops in for the Braves. Okay, Cliffside Park's dynamic junior Orlando Neto gets a free kick here, but it goes just wide and Newton still leads 2 to nothing. But watch Neto, who has 15 goals, work his way through the traffic, and he scores with a nifty shot, and Newton now leads 2-1 to one with 16-20 left in the regulation. Oh boy. And the Red Raiders keep the pressure on. It's Neto again. But Kyle Morell comes flying out for the stop. What a save by Morell. Okay, Newton looks to add to his lead here as Frank Heater shoots, but he is stopped again by Arguedo. All right, time is running out in regulation, and Cliffside Park is desperate to tie this game up. Watch Gabe Donato rip this blast, but Kyle Morell makes the save, and he covers up as Newton holds on for a thrilling 2-1 victory to become the first boy or girl soccer team from Sussex County to reach the state final where they will play Central Champ Homedale and the Group 2 Championship Saturday at 12.30 at the College of New Jersey. I feel great. You know, this is what we've been shooting for for a while, and uh, it's not two more to go anymore, and now it's, uh, it's, now it's one more. It's crazy. It's it's unbelievable right now. I'm, <clears throat> I'm just so happy for our group and for everything. We've worked so hard. And you know now we're now we're there, and we just want to go out there and get that ring. I really can't describe how I feel right now. I mean, I mean, we know what it's like to lose this game, but to win this game is just something you really can't describe. You got to experience it. I mean, it's really just the greatest feeling. And I really think we got what we deserve. We've been working hard all season. They're a great team, but I mean, we wanted it. And a game like this just really comes down to who wants it more. And I know this team has a lot of heart, and we really want it this year. It's uh, definitely a pretty cool feeling. Uh, first Sussex County team ever. You know, uh, I thought we played really well today. Came out, put out a solid performance, and uh, now we're going to state final at TCNJ on Saturday. Pretty excited. It's a great feeling, especially knowing that we're one of the we're the first team to make it in our entire county. It's amazing. It's just great. I can't even describe the feeling right now. It's absolutely everything I've ever wanted, and we just have one more game, and, and then we'll be the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. Newton dominated play in the first half but had no goals to show for it until early in the second half when Cruz Guth again scored coming up on a set piece for the Braves. Actually the same as Mawa, Brent hit it to Leo, Leo flicked it on and I was in the right place at the right time and I was just happy I was able to finish it. Well, we've definitely been working on that in practice. It's always probably one of our most dangerous weapons. Guth uh, goes up from the back and uh, stands on the far side and you know it always seems to just score through and Guth is always there for that ball. You know he puts the ball in the back of the net and it's uh, definitely a great motivator because it gets us that goal. Uh, I don't think we've lost a game all year where we scored the first goal so getting the first goal is huge and uh, you know great finish. Leo Ricaldi has a great energy that he brings to the field every time he steps on it. And the goal he scored to make it 2-0 was a perfect example as he plays, as he scored on the breakaway. It was a good flick by Cronin, you know. Uh, I took a quick look behind, the kid wasn't behind me, so I just took a touch and I just used my speed from then on and I was able to finish it. And that just, that just shows that sometimes it's not all skill, sometimes it's just that willpower and hustle to get there and thankfully I was able to get it through the goalie. I said to him at halftime before we went out, you know, I said big players play big in the biggest games and, uh, you know, there he goes right off, off the bat on that breakaway and buries it and, you know, he gives you a 2 nothing cushion and that, just, you know, was the game winner. And uh, he's a great player, great kid. What a historic night for the Newton Braves. They become the first team, boys or girls, in Sussex County history to make the finals.
first time anyone has? Nobody? <laughs> All right. All right, we'll take it. You know, it, been here five times, so uh, we were bound to bounce through uh, one of them. And uh, we got a heck of a good team this year, so uh, it'd be nice to nice to win it all. Uh, that's insane, you know. It's it's just such an honor to be there, to just be the only Sussex County team to make it this far. And we just want to make everybody proud, and hopefully we can go out there and win it. In the four years I've spent at Newton have been awesome. I mean, we've had great teams, great kids, great coaches, and. Uh, We've just been getting better the past four years. I mean, last year we made it to this game and we lost one nothing. But this year we make it here, we come out on top 2-1. And I mean, we're just progressing. And now we're finally getting to the point that where we want to be the whole time. And that's a state championship game. Definitely pretty excited. You know, uh, first team ever. So uh, I, we don't know who we're playing yet, but uh, definitely be ready for it. I think uh, as long as we come out and play our style of soccer, that uh, we can definitely get that state championship we've been working all year for. And I'm pretty excited. It's I can't even, I don't even know what to say. It's not, it's not real yet. I, it hasn't sunk in that we're going. So I guess it'll hit me when we get down there.